So try I ask coach, uh, these are the type of games where, you know, right before Christmas break can be a letdown game as far as energy, but that really wasn't an issue today. No, um, I try to get on the guys and we all had the mindset of uh, just playing hard and coach had an example of when he was at Wagner and then went to go play Pittsburgh and uh, he felt the team was looking forward to Christmas break and they came out with the win. So uh, we try to take the opposite mindset and uh, luckily we came out the win. They shot one of 13 in the first half from three. Do you think that's something you guys are doing? Different? Um, I think it was a, a, con a combination of them just shooting poorly and uh, us getting better on defense. But uh, um, it's just one game we got to learn from it. I know they had some open looks, looks uh, especially Howard, that he usually knocks down. So we got pitches to scout him more and uh, prevent shooters from getting open shots. How do you kind of assess where you guys are at at the end of non conference play? Uh, I think we had a lot of up and downs, but I think we ended on a positive note, uh, especially coming to Christmas break. I think last game against Creighton, uh, we showed that we could fight. And uh, even though the game didn't uh, turn out our best, um, we showed that we could play with them in not, number 19 country, in country. And we shot the ball today, so everyone's feeling good about themselves and uh, looking forward to the uh, next part of the season. It seemed like the lanes were there for you to, to penetrate and dish and get your guys open looks yourself too. Yeah, uh, my guys did a good job of shooting the ball. Um, they made it easy for me to uh, penetrate in the lane because they were shooting the ball so well. So I'm uh, just thankful to have them on the wings because it was making my job easier. When you're shooting that many three-pointers, is, is the main thought process to make sure you're getting good shots and not just... Well, you know? Coach encouraged us to step in and shoot shots because uh, they run a good zone, and the only way to take them out of the zone is by knocking them down. So. He told us to keep shooting, and we came out slow, slow and sluggish, but uh, we picked it up um, in the second half and uh, got to shooting well. How much do you think playing the tough non-conference schedule will help you guys now getting into Pac-12 play? Uh, I think it helps a lot. Um, record rise, it might look like it's uh, bad and detrimental to us, but uh, I think we all got a lot of positives from it. And uh, we're looking forward. I know we can compete with anybody um, playing Kentucky and even though like Northern Iowa and Davidson, those are good teams, and that's going to win a lot of games in the rest of the season. So we know we have prepared ourselves well, and we're going to look forward to the Pac-12 season. What do you want the team to kind of key in, key in on and focus on as they go into Pac-12 play? Um, I think we have uh, moments in the game we play really well, and then we'll drop. Uh, like, for instance, in the Creighton game, it was pretty much tied in the beginning of the second half, but then we had like a five-minute span where we were just clueless on defense. So I think we just got to be more consistent and uh, talking in huddles and uh, on timeout so we just maintain a good, you know, competitive spirit. Is it even possible to have the same kind of intensity that you had in the second part of the second half against Creighton? I mean, you guys were going nuts. That was, that was a great, I mean, for me, it was enjoyable to watch. I didn't see that today. I mean, you guys won by so much. Is it, is it even possible to have that kind of intensity when you're that far ahead? Yeah, I mean, you could do it. Uh, I think we kind of lost our edge because we were up, and that's something we can't do because teams in the Pac-12 can come back from those type of uh, deficits. Yeah. So that's what we got to learn from, and uh, we got to look back at the Korean game, how we was fighting, and, how, and teams going to do the same thing to us if we're up. So uh, I guess we got to learn from that. Trey, as a guy who's gone through this before, how do you, what do you, how do you approach the next few days? You know, you got the break and turn around and days later and start back to uh, I think you got to enjoy time with your family, especially the guys who are away. And I'm going to go home and uh, probably go see my high school team, you know, bond with them. And then I'm going to get back to work, get some shots up. Nothing too hard, but uh, uh, I'll be back uh, Christmas and uh, ready to work with the guys and uh, looking forward to doing great things in the Pac-12. You've gotten to 18 three-pointers twice this season. You're not quite that record yet. Does that even matter to you guys at all? Uh, no, it doesn't matter as long as we win. I think that's the biggest goal. But uh, it's always good to you know uh, be uh, along the greats that have played here. So uh, it's just a good thing and a dream come true. Do, do you think about that at all when you're close? Do you even know when the game's going on? Uh, I heard someone say it, but uh, I'm not really the guy who shoot all the threes. So <laughs> I'm telling the wrong person. <laughs> did you hear the one more three chance? Because I heard that. Yeah, I think Austin was trying to get at the end, but he got fouled. But, uh, <laughs> You know, he got his two points, so I think I'm sure he's happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys good?